So I noticed that the attic fan was making quite a bit of noise here recently. Then I noticed it wasn't making any noise at all uh, except for a dull hum. So I climbed up in the probably 120 degree attic and the uh, fan wasn't moving. In fact it was stuck. I couldn't move it and uh, was real hot. So I unhooked the power and let it cool down and I went ahead and then removed the motor. On this type you can uh, leave the fan in place. There's a set screw and you can just leave the fan up there and pull the motor out which is what I did. Well, after it cooled down, the motor is running, but it sure doesn't sound very good. And there's play in the shaft, which tells me that uh, bearings or bushings are shot. So I'm starting to disassemble it, uh, probably going to end up having to replace it. You know I had this thing apart uh, sometime a couple of years back uh, to lubricate it. There's just a couple of screws holding it together. The rear bearing feels really bad and you can see on the armature where it's been dragging. These bushings are not the uh, type that are commonly replaced. Uh, I'm pretty sure this motor is just junk. So doing some comparisons and taking some measurements, I found one online. I tried to find locally, but wasn't able to. So I just ordered one. So it's not exactly the same, but it's uh, pretty close. The diameter of the housing is the same, the shaft is the same, and the rotation is the same. The power is approximately the same. The shaft is about one half inch longer on the new motor, uh, but it doesn't look like it'll cause me a problem. So I reused the flexible conduit and I want to test it so I'm just hooking it up to a temporary cord. So I ran the cord through the thermostatic control and then hooked everything up. It seems to be running good.
So the motor's already been removed. You see the fan is just laying on top of that mounting ring. So I had to switch to the cell phone camera for up here. I'm pretty sure this thing's going to fit, but stretched out over a rafter and reaching, it's going to be a little struggle. So finally the shafts through the fan you know, had a little tension on the set screw. Now the set screw is tight, just need to tighten the clamping ring. So I had to jury rig something to hold the fan up where it needs to be while I clamp it down. Finally got it clamped down. I decided to eliminate this uh, extra work box and run everything into the thermostat control metal box. Seemed like a good idea when I started it. Now my disclaimer. Uh, I'm not a licensed electrician. I'm an avid uh, do-it-yourselfer. I do have much experience, including in a commercial application of power, power rooms, and uh, telecommunications and industrial power equipment. Now that makes me qualified to give advice on electrical repairs. That's not what I'm doing here. In my opinion, you should always remove unnecessary components if you can. And if a component has a ground lug on it, you should connect a ground to it. I'm sure there may be exceptions. That being said, this turned out to be more work than I expected it to be. Since it had a plastic work box originally, the ground wasn't connected to anything. The metal box that the uh, thermostatic control is in does have a ground lug, so I wanted to hook that up. Oops. Okay, it would have been really easy to edit that little flash out, but I think it's important to leave it in the video. Okay, fact is, I didn't get shocked. Nothing was damaged. It just goes to show you, though, how fast something can happen when you do something as stupid as not turn the power off. I'm guilty. So what happened is, in my quest to make it safer, uh, the bare ground wire that I routed through 
uh, this box was close enough to a terminal on a thermostatic control to arc when I hooked up the power. Well, it works. Please don't do something stupid like I did here and make sure you turn off the power before you're working on anything electrical. And I think we're about done here. And with the cover back down, you can't even hardly hear this thing. It's so quiet. <laughs>